So I told the family I wanted it to be a full-time job when we started out, and now it's uh, three full-time jobs. But that ranch is basically 100% seed stock operation. We're running right at 800 cows. We uh, develop about 250 to 300 replacement heifers every year. This fall we have uh, about 486 cows, and uh, out of those cows, literally no assists because of birth weight and uh, run extensive AI programs. The Galvey cattle uh, have really been extremely impressive as far as uh, the amount of the fertility on the cattle and the milking ability of the cattle. All in one package, it seemed like the Galveys have done really well and they seem to be extremely adaptable to most climates. So we truly feel the Galveys excel in growth, fertility, milking ability, which kind of goes along with growth. And uh, we have bred these cattle where they are extremely easy calving and right there on the cutting edge on, on birth weight. Most of our customers realize the value of the maternal traits that we have to offer. They uh, have gotten to be, so many of them, really good friends, uh, tremendous producers, and uh, the pounds of calves that we wean off of some of those op operations, especially when you look at the locations that they're in, is just pretty phenomenal. They know where they want to go, and it's up to us to try to furnish them genetics that are going to get them where they, where they need to be. Probably the largest benefit to some of those maternal traits is the longevity of the cows, as well as, uh, you know, you can keep cows longer, save a lot less replacement females, and have to calve a lot less heifers. So put it in a nutshell, saves, save a ranch a lot of money. The maternal traits, especially if you infuse them into a crossbreeding program with other breeds and some of these other herds, you, you just maximize the longevity and fertility in those cows. Once that cow gets past that second, third calf, uh, you know, they're just so much easier to manage. Less feed, you just turn them out on the grass, maybe give them just a little bit of protein, and those cows are gonna do it for you every year. Out of the 313 bulls that we sold last year, the average birth weight on those bulls was 79 pounds. So that tells you, uh, you know, if that's the mean, that means those bulls basically went from about 88 or nine pounds down into the 60, 60s on birth weight. Well, I guess the way we select for both docility and teat and udder quality would be, we score those cows the minute that calf hits the ground. And so when we take teat udder scores, it's before the calf ever gets up. We're looking at the udder before it's ever been touched. We feel like uh, the maternal strength of the Judd Ranch herd is, is as high as about any herd in the nation. From a production standpoint, the Gelbys are second to none, and as far as we're concerned, that's what keeps you in the cow business. It's just incredible where these cattle have come in the last 30 years. Uh, they're so docile, such good mothers, and so easy to work with, it uh, makes a guy that's getting older like me think he can do it for quite a, quite a few more years.